the black pants and the blue gloves. She's fired up. Oh yes, very excited, both these ladies to be here tonight. Caracas, Venezuela meets Sao Vicente, Brazil. There we see Taylor the tape for La Guerrera. 2 0 here on Karate Combat. Last time out, took a good decision win over Anna Laura Prasotti. And there we see debutante Erica Santos here for the first time on Karate Combat. A very accomplished karateka throughout the Pan Am and South American Games, though. Now, Bass, as we look to get underway here in round number one, both these ladies are aware of each other. They've uh, been around a lot of the same competitions, but due to different weight classes, have never actually met before. So, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, how much they've taken from watching each other fight before. Yeah, you saw Santos wanted to shake hands, but Ma Molina, she said, no, it's not going to happen. Whoa, very oh, nice. Oh, and getting it. short shots in there, getting stuck oh, in. Oh, oh. don't Ta fight, Ta Ta <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, you can't hold and punch, but they were going to give it a go anyway. Referee Sam Amini has to get stuck in there and break them up. And Molina Bass. was super composed until that <laughs> happened, and then she completely went back to the first game. Oh, both the last these time. ladies have come to throw down, and there we go, clinching up again. Short shots on the inside, looks for the throw. The right hands keep working. Oh, back to guard here. Ooh, nice counter, taking and countering. I love that. That's what I do. So you got to count, counter that uh, kick with a nice right straight. Exactly what she did. That's why I always say, don't set it up with a single kick because they can simply take it and counter all the time. Seventy percent of the knockouts are because of that. I love how close their lead hands are to each other, Bass. It's like it's, it's how yeah, how much range can we keep without really keeping range? <laughs> Oh, oh, nice head right hand. Big right, right hand. hand. Oh. There we go. She eats two. Molina's doing great. Santos is rumbled. Just let go. Push your waist. Let's create distance. Oh, and Santos was in trouble there for a couple of times. She yeah, had yeah. two good rear straights. It looked like she was dazed. Now simple left straight to the body, right straight to the head. Will do wonders. Molina actually putting her whole training camp uh, from Venezuela actually now in oh, New York. Beautiful. And that's a huge shot. Wow, that is crazy. Santos beautiful is shot. What a beautiful Very straight nice. shot from Omara Molina. She is going to take a clean, decisive win here. Wow, that was beautifully timed. She came in and kaboom, right on the button there. You see, as she said it, she wanted to use more space this time. Don't be too, too, that close. Let's take a look back at that knockout. Look at the laser focus Boom. and bang. Right hand straight on the chin and aggression to follow up as well. Santos not able to recover. Boom, she comes in. Oh, man, this uh, is going way all the way back to the first show that we had, <laughs> right? But what's the first of our fifth show? Boom. Ooh. Look at that. Santos's head was already slightly turning as she came in. Yep. Ate that fully to the, the side of the jaw. Our referee, no choice there but to stop the bout. Lovely, clean technique from yeah. Amira Molina. Kidakos, remember? He did that as well. Yes, he did. Okay, that was also the first night fight of the night. What a start to karate combat here for tonight's action. Amira Molina watching her opponent get uh, her medical checks. Nice. We're going to go down to the center of the pit here and get the official decision. Standing victory for Venezuelan Omira Molina, her training camp up in Yonkers, New York, paying dividends there. She's going to head up pit side and get a few words with Leila Annalee. 
ahead of this fight, you